Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike Larkin, one half of the Steve and Mike Show, www.stevenmikeshow.com is up and running, where you can hear such shows as you're about to hear today. This is episode 147 of the Pop Culture History Podcast, and after hearing that commercial, y'all know what we're talking about. We're talking about some hit clips, and on the line with me is my good friend, the one who actually actually introduced me to some hit clips, because I don't remember him from 99-2000, I'm a 90s kid, born in 92, but I, I forget him, you know what I'm saying, we kind of blip on the radar there, and I gotta thank her for being like the inspiration of this show, I gotta give it up, shout out, Amanda Dia, welcome back to the Pop Culture History Podcast, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good. Man, we're talking about some hit clips today, late 90s, early 2000s, and again, you're the inspiration for this, you know, you had your hit clips in the car, you still have them to this day, came out in around 99, 2000, you're still rocking the hit clips, and I look forward to talking about it with you, because a lot of great songs on hit clips, before we had the iPods, the iTunes, and all that, we started out with hit clips, and just tell me, when you first got the hit clips, what were your overall thoughts about the hit clips? I thought they were pretty cool, but this is also when in 2000 something we were like what? I was born in 91, so how old were we really? We were like seven and eight when this came out. Yeah, so like that was like 20 years ago, <laughs> or how, however, how many years ago? <laughs> Jesus, man, not so even yet. Well, almost 20, 19, 20 years ago. <laughs> well, I'm I just turned 27, so yeah. Good lord, why you gotta make us feel old, man? I know, right? <laughs> oh. But yeah, I think, you know what it is too, because I'm such an old school cat that I was so into like the CD players and stuff, like I didn't even know what a hit clips was, and it's so funny because as I was in, doing some research before this, the official iPod didn't come out until 2001, so we had the hit clips first before we even had the iPod. Really? Yeah. The original iPod, like the make of it came out in 2001, and hit clips came out in 99, 2000. Maybe that was... Apple or I don't remember who actually made it. Maybe that was them just like test trying it. Yeah, but I'm like, something. yeah, I'm thinking, but then I'm like, I'm like iPod 2001. I'm like, oh wow, it's been around that long. And like I've said, I mentioned to listeners and you, I never had an iPod as a kid because I didn't want an iPod again because I was old school. And I know I was probably only kid in America that didn't have an iPod. I still use my iPod. I was like, I got one. For, I got a nano. My uncle gave me a nano for my 16th birthday, mm-hmm. and I didn't have enough room on it, so I got one of the classic. Which I still use to this day in my car. Right. Well, I know you do because I've been in that car. And number two, you 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 rock on that iPod, man. I'm aware. You that's what I that's, you, okay. So here it is. The first version was released on October 23rd, 2001, about eight and a half months after the Macintosh version of iTunes was released. So that was when the iPod officially came out. Was in 2001. Can you believe that? No, I can't believe that it's that old. Well, with the way music is, and I mean, it's so funny because as I'm as I look legit looked up hit clips before we even did this, and a couple <laughs> days ago, I'm like, you know, one of the best things that come up is is there's a lot of articles from last year remembering the most absurd way we listen to music because for those that don't know, hit, yeah, hit clips is one of them. Yes, the most absurd way to listen to music was the hit clips. They put it as. <laughs> 30 seconds of a song. I know. Well, a minute. Is it like, it's like a minute, right? You hear the song or 30 seconds. I think it was like 30 seconds. And like you could, it was uh, either a blue little, it was like a little thing. I don't even know how to explain it. It was like a little portable thing with um, a snap thing that you could put onto your clothing so you didn't have to lose it. And it had one um, earphone that you just stuck in your ear and you would interchange the little song. Like I had, I had Backstreet Boys, I had O Town, I had Insync, I had Destiny's Child. Then I stole my brother, so that I had um, a bunch more <laughs> that I don't remember, but I know I stole his. Yeah, so it's it's just a big music system, like you mentioned, like a mini box, and like you mentioned, you put mm-hmm. it in your ear. And I'm, I was yeah, looking you at had, you had little little. You had either the boombox or the little. Um, it was kind of like. Um, uh, uh, what are those CD plays? Like a mini, mini, mini one. Yeah, like a mini one. And 
it's so funny because I was looking at Amazon just to see how much they go for. There's one, <laughs> there's a hit clips, micro music system, video jockey, one offer from $89. To one, the original Tiger Electronics is like 50 bucks. There's like a mixed clip of five bucks. It goes as low as like five bucks on here, but somebody legit wanted like 50 bucks for the hit clip. Holy crap. That, they aren't that worth that much. Oh my god, I mean, they're probably worth like maybe more than like 20-something bucks from back in the day. You get 60 seconds clips, but they were pretty cheap from what I remember. Yeah, and it either came like in the packages for like the little disc to put for the music. It either came in a pack of one or it came in a pack of three. Exactly, and you know what it is too, like with the way music is, like we mentioned iTunes and Spotify. Now this, and we talk about the kids nowadays, If they, I'll be honest with you, imagine putting the millennials that we have now back in like 99, 2000 when the hit clips were, and then all you have was just like a minute of music, and again, you still had to go out and buy the actual CD. I don't know how they yep. could take it. I've seen videos of them not knowing how to use a rotary phone, so yeah. It just goes. It just goes back to when I got mad because I was telling you about this. Because we talk about MTV a lot, like that '90s house which Lance Bass and Christina Milian hosted, and they took away everything, and they had to use fax machines and everything. I'm like, we literally live in a generation where if they did had this, they would not be able to survive. Yeah, no, I never actually watched that because I just didn't want to ruin the '90s for myself. I only watched one episode, and it was wiggity 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 whack. I hated it, and it sucked. <laughs> Oh, but again, it was great to see like Lance Bass and Joey Fatone was on an episode, and again, nice. it was so inaccurate because Christina Milian was one of the guests. Exactly, it's so inaccurate because she didn't come out to two thousand, but she's hosting a show about the nineties. That makes no it, sense. Uh, when did King Possible come out? Two thousand and two. Okay, so yeah, she, that was her first, like one of the first things that you ever heard her on was the theme song of theme song of Kim Possible. Girl, don't even get me started about that because when we do shoot in the breeze, we'll go into more detail about it. But I got to tell you something, man. I wa- I listened to the main artist, the uh, main uh, actress in that movie for the Kim Possible action movie that Disney has come out. I saw the trailer. It, they really, besides having Nancy Cartwright come back as Rufus, they really legit ruined that movie. Oh. I can't. Yeah. You got so mad about that too because it's like they ruined our childhood. Uh, yeah. That's all. That's all they keep doing. They premiered the um, the new trailer for Aladdin. Yes. During the Grammys tonight. How'd it look? Oh my god. That bad. No. That bad. I refuse to watch Beauty and the Beast because I don't want them to ruin. Like I don't want it to be ruined for myself. Oh my god. That's my all-time favorite movie, and I just refuse to watch it. And I'm, everybody calls me, like, my parents call me a pain in the ass for not watching it, but I'm like, that's my childhood. That's, like, my favorite movie. I destroyed my VHS from watching it so many times. I bet you did. Shish. <laughs> oh, man, but, yeah, it's just, it's the same. Just the childhood now, and then, you know, your childhood, and then it gets fucked up on you with now, and just, ugh. Like I said, just, it was such a fun cartoon, a fun show, and then they did that. And I see what you're saying about Aladdin, too, but, yeah. And then now, as we get into this, we're going to be talking about hit clips. So for those that don't know, there's a little Wikipedia thing, and I'm actually going to surprise you. And I want to see, because knowing you, I want to see how many of these songs that you either know or you don't know, and I'll explain it to you, because I, you, your, your mind is about to be blown. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, here we go. So for those that don't know, Hit Clips is a digital audio player created by Tiger Electronics that plays ultra low fi mono one-minute clips of pop songs. So you get the one-minute of the pop songs. There's a version for young children called Kid Clips. Hit Clips were first distributed by... (laughs) (laughs) Hit Clips were first distributed by McDonald's when they released music by NSYNC and Britney Spears. In 1999, Hit Clips earned Tiger Electronics approximately $80 million. $80 million in 1999, Amanda. Are those little pieces of crap? Yes. Wow. Jesus. Tiger Electronics has licensing agreements for hit clips with popular major record labels, including Atlantic Records, Jive Records, Zomba Label Group, and Capitol Records. Hit clips were first promoted by McDonald's, Radio Disney, and Lunchables. So, hey, man, you also could thank Radio Disney for this. I used to be a big Radio Disney fan, so, yeah. And I was okay with that. Like I said, once we got into the high school musical in Hannah Montana era, like 2005, 06, I stopped. So, yeah, I was around this time I was grooving Radio Disney, too. I hear you. So, 
here's what's great about it. The reaction to hit clips was mixed. Now, tell me what you, because we gave our thoughts, but here are some of the, uh, here are some of the reactions from some groups and some people. Parents Talk said, through children's eyes subsection, the product was approved by 69% of readers and disapproved of by 30% of readers. However, the product was panned by many of the readers and written reviews. Although the authenticity or the periodicity of this source was not confirmed, many commentators stated that they would rather spend their money on an MP3 player or that they already owned a boombox slash CD player. So again, as I said, being old school and having a CD player and the boombox and all that, and then just, again... Hit Clips was a blip on the radar for me until you, my lovely friend, had to have it. You still have it in your possession, in your collection, and you helped me out. Um, wow. Well. I'm just saying because, like, who was right, though? I kind of got to say. I got to say this right now. Who was right? Does some people rather just have an old CD player than get the Hit Clips? And I like the Hit Clips because of you, and it brought back memories. But still, can you believe that? Because I was right. Why well, wasn't I right? Yeah. Yeah. See, I, we, well, I was seven when it came out, and we got my parent. Uh, I got them from Santa Claus, so kind of really didn't have a choice. Santa hooked <laughs> you yeah. up, man. Santa Claus came to town, and he gave you some hit clips. Yep, I think my cousins got them too. <sighs> you, you lucky dog. <laughs> so. This suggests that hit clips failed to effectively compete with the more expensive, albeit higher quality market. Also, the commentators make several references to MP3 players stating, I say save your money for a real MP3 player. This suggests that the rise of MP3 tech along with other factors compounded to lead to Hit Clips' demise. And you know how long Hit Clips was around, by the way, for? No, I don't. The songs that were on the Hit Clips cartridge in 1999-2003. So, th- legit, Hit Clips was only around for about three or four years. Eh, that's understandable. It is. Because, like I said, the iPod killed it and what we have now. Like I said, it's just great music at this time because we're going to equate this to a lot of music around this time too, Amanda. Because here we go. We're going to talk about these music that were on Hit Clips. Are you ready? And tell me if you know it. Okay. First one, 18's Dancing Queen. I know of that. didn't have it, though. Okay, so I had this album. This was actually one I did on one of the early episodes of this show. 18's... Oh, I have the album. Okay. But I'm just. Exp- I have like several albums. I'm explaining it to people that don't know, man. Uh, look at you, you <laughs> eager beaver. I have it. You own this. You're repping yourself. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> so, Eighteens was the ABBA teens. They were the uh, you know the fans of ABBA, and they had an album called The ABBA Generation, which had Mamma Mia and Dancing Queen. They were on Disney. Uh, they did Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis for the Lilo and Stitch soundtrack. They had that song Upside Down bouncing off the ceiling and they were part of the Europop genre. But that was their big hit in 99 was The Dancing Queen and Mamma Mia. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, hey, 18s, man. You See, you're bringing me back with the Europop too because we're, I gotta ask you. <laughs> see, now I gotta ask you because this ties into what we're talking about with hit clips and music around this particular time period where you were a Europop fan because you had your Bewitch, your Say La Vies, your 18s, you had uh, you know Ace of Bass. You had so many around this time. Were you a Europop guy, uh, girl? Um, I had I had eighteens, I had Bewitched, I had five. Like, yeah, guys, I guess so. All right. Well, how about the Spice Girls? Spice Girls were Europop. Um, yeah, I still have Spice World on VHS. That movie. Okay, I'm just gonna say this right now, and a lot of people <laughs> might hate me. That movie is fucking terrible. <laughs> I like the Spice Girls a lot, but that movie is fucking terrible. Were you a fan of that movie? I still have it, don't I? Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, do you, please tell me. I liked it. All right. I liked it. All right. I liked Spice Girls, so yeah. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. And you're on this show, so boom. (laughs) Anyway. Oh, I love you. Next song is Avril Lavigne's <laughs> Complicated. Well, obviously we know some Avril Lavigne Complicated. 2000. I, I, I didn't have that. You did not have that. Were you an Avril fan? Yeah, I have Avril CDs. You know what it is, too? Like, this is her coming out with Complicated, and I still remember Weird Al's parody, uh, the Constipation song, or, you know, why did everything, why'd you have to go and get yourself all constipated for his Poodle Hat album, which I cracked up for. It was called the Constipation song. Uh, just her videos this time. Oh, the next one is also another Avril Lavigne. They had Skater Boy on it. You know, see, say, see, you, see you later, boy. She wasn't good enough for her. I mean, it was good. You know, Avril Lavigne coming around at this time, 2001, 2002. Yeah, that song. You love that song? My dad loves it. 
Luke starts off. Wait a minute. Your daddy, and your daddy is a great yeah. man. Your daddy loves him some Avril Lavigne. My dad listens to acapella on Pandora. Does he really? Yes, he loves the Pitch Perfect. <sighs> now, now you see, you, you, you <laughs> learn a lot here. I did not know that. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, now this is where we get into Backstreet Boys territory. Uh, the Backstreet Boys songs that were on Hit Clips were I Want It That Way, Shape of My Heart, The Call, Larger Than Life, and More Than That. I had Larger Than Life. Okay. Um, the Call, and I think one more, but I just don't remember which one exactly. Okay. Uh, now for Avril, for your Hit Clips, did you have Complicated or Skateboard? You said no, right? No, no, no. And no on Dancing Queen with 18s? No, none of those. Okay, so here are the ones that were from the Baja Men on Hit Clips. Move it, move it, <laughs> move it like this and Who Let the Dogs Out? <laughs> did you have Who Let the Dogs Out? No, I did not, but I had the CD. Okay. Uh, you, now you see something, that's what it is like for me because, again, seven, eight years old, listen to Who Let the Dogs Out and Move It Like This, which was also in, uh, I believe it was a Big Fat Liar with Frankie Munez and Amanda Bynes and Paul Giamatti. Like, again, that was like the peak of the Baja Men and then they kind of just fell off. Yeah, they had one more CD and that was it. Yeah. Okay, now you see we go classics here because the Beach Boys were also on hit clips. We had California Girls, Fun, 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 yeah. Till Your Daddy Takes a T-Bird Away and Good Vibrations. No. You're not a Beach Boys fan, I take it? No, no, I I know who they are, and I'm a fan of a couple of their songs, but they did not have them on Hit Clips. Hey, man. did not. What? It says Hit Clips, man. Maybe they put the Beach Boys in there. Wow. Just so. Wow. What grown adult is going to listen to Hit Clips? For Uh, real. You never know, man. You you never know. Maybe some kids are into the Beach Boys. I'm going to listen to Hit Clips. All right, I'm just saying. You don't know the way people think. People are unique. Just putting everybody down. You just lay it to smack it down. I see you, Amanda. My God. That's not what I meant, but okay. Whatever. Okay, the next one. The next one is Billy Joel, Piano Man. No, they, I didn't know that they had that. Uh, there's Blue Suede with Hooked on a Feeling, which I don't even, I know what Hooked on a Feeling is, but I don't remember their version of it. Okay, now you see, this one I can understand. Michelle Branch, All You Wanted and Everywhere, which is also around this time when that hit clips came out. Did you have Michelle? Mm-hmm. No, or yeah, Michelle Branch? I know who she is. Like, I have a couple of her songs on my iPod, but no, I didn't have any of her hit clips. So, with Michelle Branch, I liked Everywhere because that was her first hit. Then it was All You Wanted, and then it had, um, I, you know what I remember? She actually did a song with uh, Santana called The Game of Love, which was actually very good. You remember that song? Your songs, Tom. Yeah, nice. All right, all right. So, now this is, again, where we get to <laughs> actually songs that you would think would be on these hit clips from around the time. Brandy, Full Moon. Do you remember that song by Brandy? Mm, I'd probably have to hear it, but probably not. All right. But so, so, here's the thing. Well, Brandy, we all know Brandy. Boy is mine with Monica and uh, almost doesn't count. And uh, What About Us? That was off for that album, Full Moon. But, yeah, it was kind of like later Brandy when we got into 01. You know what I'm saying? When Brandy got a little older, you know, she wasn't teen Brandy anymore. Mm-hmm. Mind you, it was good, but still, you know, but it makes sense to have it around that time. So now here's where we get more of songs. Aaron Carter. We're going in Aaron Carter territory here, Amanda. Uh, no, I didn't have Aaron Carter, but I do have his um, first CD. Okay, well, some, some of these songs are off the first CD. Uh, Aaron's Party, Come Get It. And there's Oh Aaron, Leave It Up To Me, which was featured on the Jimmy Neutron soundtrack. Uh, that's How I Beat Shaq, and I Want Candy, and Not Too Young, and I'm Not Too Old, featuring Brother Nick. So those are the Aaron Carter songs that were on Hit Clips. <laughs> no, I didn't have any of those. Ugh. Now, I had both of those albums, and I gotta tell you something. I always say to the millennials, if you want it, we actually don't need to listen to Justin Bieber, because we had our own Justin Bieber, and his name was Aaron Carter. <laughs> but he was more talented to Justin Bieber. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, here's one. This was actually on the Lizzie McGuire soundtrack, Miss Amanda. Atomic Kitten, The Tide is High, taking the uh, the remake of Blondie. No, didn't even know that she did a remake. Okay. Now, you've seen the Lizzie McGuire movie, right? No. 
Yes, I've seen that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm trying to make you remember the scene, man. So I don't think it by heart, but like I remember watching it. Okay, so the opening scene in the Lizzie McGuire movie is she's in like dancing or singing in the shower, and that's the song that's playing on her boombox or in the background. That's how my kittens the tide is high. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay, well it's okay because I, I, I watched Lizzie McGuire, but I wasn't the vi- biggest fan. Oh, man, all right, okay. Now you know what it is too, though, like. This was around the time when you had, like, short-lived <laughs> songs, and that was, like, Atomic Kitten's only hit, and you only had, like, these short-lived groups. So this was one of those short-lived groups. Now, we're taking it back to, like, the 60s here, because we got the Angels with my boyfriend's back, and there's gonna be trouble. No? No? no. Okay. Uh, shout, you know you make me wanna shout. Right my ears up and shout. Right my hands up and shout. Yes, no? No, I didn't have that one. Okay. Daniel Bedingfield from 2001, 2002. I got to get through this. I got to get through this. That song? No, uh, but I like that song. That is a great song. I'll be honest with you. I saw Daniel Bedingfield live once, and I, I was at Summer Jam 2002, and he was performing that song, and he's also the brother of Natasha Bedingfield. You know you, you know Natasha Bedingfield? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a glimpse of her brother before we got a glimpse of her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we get to Destiny's Child. Uh, the songs that we had for Destiny's Child War: Emotion, Survivor, and Independent Women. I had Survivor and Independent Women. All the women independent. Throw your hands up at me. Yeah. Uh, Emotion was actually the cover of you know obviously you know the Bee Gees right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So their song is just emotion that's taking me over. That's the cover that they did from uh from that album. Same with Survivor and uh, Independent Women. So that was still two thousand and one. The next, yeah, I know that. Yeah. So I mean, you know what it is too. Like again, it makes me smile because this was also when Charlie's Angels was around and that song was everywhere because of the Charlie Angels soundtrack. All right. Okay. No one, Charlie's Angels. No, I mean, I was agreeing. Yes, it was. It was around that time because of them. Okay, I was about to say you're gonna channel your inner Destiny's Child. I say no, 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 no. Then you say yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh good God! Hey, you know you love this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then we, then we had Dream. Uh, he loves you not, and this is me. You remember Dream, the short-lived group that was on Bad Boy Records. Yes, with Jesse McCartney. Well, Jesse McCartney. That was Dream Street. Oh, sorry. Oh, Dream. Uh, Dream. Uh, that was the girl that group. That was the girl group. Yeah. Girl group. Yeah. I, th- I think I had one of them. Okay. Uh, well, Dream Street is next. It happens every time when I That's see. I, think I remember I had one of theirs. Yes. I had that one. Well, that was like their only popular hit. <laughs> and then Jesse McCartney became huge. Yeah. <laughs> Then the other one that I don't even remember, Gotta Get the Girl. Like I don't even remember that other Dream Street song. What the hell's Gotta Get the Girl? Yeah, gotta Get the Girl song. Like, gotta Get the Go. <laughs> okay. I'll take your word for it. When you get a chance, listen to it. It's hysterical. <sighs> All right. I'll find the sample of that and I'll play it at, at the end of the show because I got to listen to this now. Gotta Get the Goo, it sounds like. Yes, that's what exactly what. At least, that, to me, that's what it sounds like. All right, then we go into Elvis territory. Hound Dog, Jailhouse Rock, and Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear. Baby, let me be a loving teddy bear. No. I did not know that they made Elvis hit clips. Apparently, Elvis was on hit clips, man. Like I said, as I was reading this list from 1999-2003, hey, they put some oldies on here. They put some relative around the time, which I think was kind of cool. Wow. All right, and... and re- like, like, what... What child is going to know any of the oldie songs at that time? I don't know. Maybe. maybe what adult is going to listen to hit clips? Hey, man, you never know. You never know the way people are. Maybe the, uh, they were influenced by their parents. Who knows? God bless them. Uh, the next one is Enrique Iglesias' Hero. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you have that or no? No. Okay. The only Hanson song that was on Eclipse, if only. Was... No, no Umba. Oh. 
This, well, this makes sense because this was around 2000, 2001, their song If Only, which was off their album this time around. This is like older Hanson. Nope. Nope. Didn't have it. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of a forgettable song. And I like Hanson, but it's kind of a forgettable one. Uh, Faith Hill. Then we get to Faith Hill. Uh, they had Breathe, This Kiss, and The Way You Love Me. Didn't have any of those. Okay, good songs, but again, like what's memorable for me is The Way You Love Me. That's the video where she's in the restaurant, and she's looking all smoking hot, and it's just like, mm-mm-mm. Tim McGraw, you lucky man. <laughs> so, oh, good. Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. Nope. You, do you know the song? You didn't have it. No, I didn't have it, but I know the song. I was about to say, first I was afraid, I was petrified. How do you not know I will survive? I will survive. <laughs> All right, now we get to Hillary Duff territory. Uh, I Can't Wait and Why Not. I know those songs, but no, I didn't have them. Great songs, man. My God. Uh, I think a couple of them. I think I had literally nine head clips. Okay, well, we're going to get to what you had at the end, but you've still had, we're almost done with this list because we got some more to talk about. Miss, I got hit clips. I'm so cool, Amanda Dia. Hey, they were. Yeah, you, you're a baller <laughs> shot caller, man. As I said, I'm so happy in the way you introduced this to me because, again, the minute just of greatness. Like, I'm singing bye, bye, bye for a minute and I'm happy as hell, man. <laughs> and you did. You borrowed it for like a couple of days. I did. <laughs> legit no lie people I borrowed this for a couple days because she these hit clips I'm just like hmm I'm going I'm you know I'm just getting ready before I go out and get ready let me put some bye 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 in and hit play boom got it <laughs> got into my feelings man it was good it was real good uh, so anyway after Hillary Duff we had Hoku another dumb blonde and how do I feel the burrito to 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 song so did you have either <laughs> one no and never even heard of them. Okay, so Hoku, uh, you remember the Nickelodeon movie Snow Day with Josh Peck and Chris Elliott? Perfect Day, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know that song. That's about it. Yeah, that. I think it's time for you to find another dumb blonde, because it's not me. No, no, that's another dumb blonde. How Do I Feel the Burrito song was, How do I feel now that it's over, and the thing that I miss the most is missing you. The thing that I miss the most, that is How Do I Feel the Burrito song. Yeah, no, I don't remember that one. Well, you know how the burrito, so- how it's why it's also titled the burrito song, right? No. Because the opening ly- lyric is, "I was lost when we met. You were eating a burrito." So she met her had the guy while she was eating a burrito. So that's where the burrito song comes in. Oh god. <laughs> she was from Hawaii. <laughs> the, oh god. The only Jackson Five song that was on the hit clips A B C easy as one two three. Yeah, no, I didn't have the Jackson 5, but I know who they are. Okay. I danced, I had a, when I was in dance, mm-hmm. in like, for like three years, when I was like in first or th- first first through third grade, yeah. I danced ABC. Oh, wow. Okay. So, all yeah. right. All right. I know that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're almost done with this list here. Uh, we got Jewel Standing Still. That was her, like, her hit from 2001's Am I Standing Still? No on that one? Nope. Jennifer Bartoli with... Al Solil. That that is a Spanish song. I do not know that. Or no, she's excuse me. That, she's French. I thought she was Spanish when she said that. Okay, that's French. Never mind. I totally. I went from Spain to France in two seconds. Jesus. Wow. Wow. No, don't know. Uh, Jump five. God bless the USA. I know who Jump five is, but I don't remember that. Yeah, no, I don't remember. I'm trying to think of who Jump five is. Okay, so jump. All right. Oh, they were a dance group. Like they. Of them? Yeah. But I'm just like, I'm trying to picture who they were. So, one of the, there's like two blonde chicks and a dude with blonde hair and a dude with a black hair. They were, um, they were around Radio Disney. They were around when Baja Men and all of them were around and Aaron Carter. They only had like one, excuse me, like big album. And that was their debut album. Uh, yeah. I'm tr- I gotta see what You're- their song was. Hold on. Now I'm, I'm bugged about this. Oh, they had a, yeah, God Bless the USA. It was like their only hit. Seriously? Yes. Wow. I mean, they had other hits, but that's the one that pops up. Now, this is where you get all happy. Justin Timberlake, ain't nobody love you like I love you. I didn't have any Justin Timberlake hit clips. I just had In Sync. Okay. I had Bye Bye Bye. All right. I'll go through these quickly. Uh, where else we got here? Because uh, we're going to get the In Sync is coming up. Casey and the Sunshine Man, that's the way I like it. 
Yeah, no, I don't have that one. The Kingsman Louie Louie. Okay, that's an old one. A Cool in the Gang Celebration. Crystal Harris with Supergirl. <laughs> so, for those that don't know, Crystal Harris was actually a one-hit wonder. She had that song, Supergirl. That was Remember, you know, the Princess Diaries with Anne Hathaway and Julia? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That, she was on that soundtrack around this time. I have Supergirl on my iPod. Yes. Yeah, nice! Okay, look at you. I got Supergirl. <laughs> okay. The Ketchup Song. That's nice. Uh, little, <laughs> little Romeo, The Girlies and My Baby. Uh, Lindsay Pagana with Everything You Are. Okay, yeah, these were like really brief because they were around when she was around when Dream Street and Aaron Carter. Yeah, she was very, yeah, she kind of was very, uh, yeah, she was kind of there and gone. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Lindsay Pagano. No disrespect. I don't mean no harm, but I mean, hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> MT- <laughs> From Norway, M2M Mirror Mirror. Now, I had this CD single when I was a kid. Do you remember Mirror Mirror? I'd probably have to hear it. Mirror, mirror, hanging on the wall. You don't have to tell me who's the biggest fool of all. No? No, all not right. for that one. Okay. Uh, Manfred, men, do I did it, did it, dumb, did it, do. Uh, Madonna, cherish, don't tell me. Lucky star, music, and ray of light. Nivea, don't mess with my man. No secrets, <laughs> that's, what, that's what girls do. <laughs> that's what girls do. Nick Carter with his only one solo hit. Help me figure out decisions between right and wrong. Make it strong. All right. This is where you've been waiting for because now we're going to get into the NSYNC hit clips. Are you ready for this? Yes. Bring in the noise. Bring down the house. We can't eat until the party out. Say, come on, come on. Just raise the roof under the booth. Did you have that one? I think it was, I just had bye, bye, bye. All right. That was the next one. Uh, the other ones are Celebrity, Girlfriend, It's Gonna Be Me, No Strings Attached, Pop, and this I promise you. All good hits. I just had a uh, Bye Bye Bye. All right, now we get to O-Town. All or Nothing, Baby I Would, and We Fit Together. Oh, I had the first one. All or Nothing. Because <laughs> I want it all. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Paulina Rubio, Don't Say Goodbye. Uh, Pink, Don't Let Me Get Me, There You Go, and Most Girls. Play us against the world. We had Ba La 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 Bomba by Richie Valens. <laughs> had S Club Seven Natural. Sammy, I like it. Which I'll be honest with you, S Club Seven. I did have that CD. That was the second one after S Club Party. I used to watch their show. Me too. Like on Saturday mornings, like S Club Seven in Miami or something like that. Mm-hmm. That was a good show. It was. <laughs> you know what it is? Like I remember when they were on ABC. And then they just moved them like very quickly to ABC. Oh, no, the reruns were on ABC Family. But I remember every Saturday morning on ABC watching S Club 7 in Miami. And I got to say, for the short time that it was on, it was not bad. And I was entertained. And again, they would also be classified under the Euro pop genre because they were like a thing until 2000. Yeah, because their first album was the big one. Well, that's Club Party, excuse me. Then you had Never Had a Dream Come True on the second one. And uh, yeah, that was about it for S Club 7. <laughs> I know they continue to make music, but I'm talking about here in America. That was about it for them yeah. in America. Uh, yeah. Sammy, I Like It. Now, I Like It was actually a big hit around 2099 because the video for this was, it was like he's flirting with the girl and they were like playing a big old game of red light, green light. And uh, yeah, it was not bad. It's you know, Have you ever heard of Sammy's I Like It? I have to hear it. <sighs> I like the way you look at me. Don't you know I like it? I could go through the whole entire thing. It's just good. I have, I'll play this probably afterwards for you, but still. I want to just let you know, because there's a lot. Like, I didn't even realize there was so much of this. Like, you only had nine hit clips? Yeah. Jeez. We're going to get to that in a second, but we're almost done. Uh, Shaggy with Shorty, you my angel. You're my darling <laughs> angel. We had Simple Plan with I'm a dick. I'm addicted to you. Oh, shit. They had Simple Plan? Yeah, that was the only one that they had was right now. I'm a dick. I'm addicted to you. Great song. Good song. Great song. <laughs> Sister Sledge, we are family. All my sisters with me. Uh, we had Smash Mouth with All Star, I'm a Believer, Pacific Coast Party, and Why Can't We Be Friends. Uh, <laughs> Solange uh, Knowles with Crush. I don't even remember Solange having a hit around this time, but okay. I remember the Proud Family theme. I know she's a part of the Proud Family theme around this time. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was about it. Uh, Soul Decision. Ooh, it's kind of crazy. That's a good song. They were a group out of Canada. They had that song Faded and that one. They're not, that's not bad. All right, I can dig that. Now we get to the Britney Spears portion of Eclipse. Are you ready for these ones? Yes. Baby One More Time. I'm a slave for you. I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. Lucky. Oops, I did it again. Overprotected. Stronger. And you drive me crazy. All good. All yeah, good. I didn't have any of them. You didn't even put Britney on your hit clips, man? I didn't have any. I, as I said, Santa Claus <laughs> got them for me. Well, Santa Claus jacked you in a way, homie. Jacked you on some hit clips that you should be having, man. Well, you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> tell Santa I don't even know if I want to tell him because I know who him is that you're referring to. <laughs> but in a way, I might have a shot after, you know, because I may have to distract him with some acapella and some pixel perfect and not pixel, but pitch perfect, man. I just went Disney Channel on that. I just went Disney Channel on that fucking pixel perfect. I meant pitch perfect. Just put on some put on some let it whip from pitch perfect. Whip it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had to We had to <laughs> we had Stacy Arico with her only hit, St- I'm Stuck on You, which, that was not bad. Uh, the Sugar Ray ones make sense because of the time period. They had Someday, When It's Over, and Answer the Phone, I Know That You're Home. I'm going to get you alone and do it again, do it again. Uh, we had Technotronic with Pump Up the Jam, Pump It Up. The Temptations, My Girl, Toya with I Do, uh, Tic Tac, Toe in Your Face with Upside Down. Uh, we, had the ch- <laughs> we had the Chugs, Wild Thing. You make my heart sing. Triple Image and Jamie Lynn Spears. What the fuck? Hey now, girls just want to have fun. I had no idea she was on the song like that, but okay. Usher, you remind me. Willa Ford, did you understand that? Willa Ford with I Wanna Be Bad. We have Vanessa Carlton talk about A Thousand Miles and Vanessa Carlton talk about It's Just an Ordinary Day. And finally, <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA by the village people. Wow. So that was from... And I only had... I only had nine songs. <laughs> and that was from 93 to 2003. The 2003 to 2004, because wow. this was like the end of <laughs> Hit Clips by this time, because again, iPod and all this stuff was coming through. Did you know what we had from 2003 to 2004? No. Okay, well, one that I mentioned before was Standing Still, and Hillary Duff's I Can't Wait and Why Not. Uh, we had Clay Aiken, If I Was Invisible, and I Can... They had a Clay Aiken hit cut. They had some Clay Aiken on that motherfucker right there, man. If I was invisible. <laughs> Avril Lavigne, again with Skater Boy and Complicated. Atomic Kit and the Tide is High. Bow Wow with Let's Get Down. Michelle, <laughs> Michelle Branch with Are You Happy Now and Breathe. James Brown, I Feel Good. I knew that I would now. We had Kelly Clarkson with Low and A Moment Like This, which makes sense because of American Idol and uh, from Justin to Kelly. Uh, Nikki Cleary with One, Two, Three. More Hilary Duff with Come Clean and So Yesterday. Good songs. Good songs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jewel Standing Still. Lindsay Lohan, Ultimate. Now, (laughs) Lindsay Lohan (laughs) on a hit clip. Now, here's the thing. Me, I don't even know that song. If it was going to be any Lindsay Lohan, I would have assumed Rumors. You know, I'm tired of Rumors starting. Yeah. I mean, but Ultimate, okay. Uh, Madonna with Hollywood. Uh, Raven Simone with Supernatural. Stacey Orico with There's Gotta Be More to Life. And then, besides yeah. Simple Plan's Addicted, we had Simple Plan talk about Perfect, man. Oh, I love that song. That is a great song. Uh, mm. Smash Mouth again with Pacific Coast Parte. I'm a believer and you are my number one. And finally, Britney Spears and Madonna, Me Against the Music. So that was what was on Hit Clips from 1999 to 2003. And what a time that was with music. Just because, like, I mean, like, you're, I'm reminding you of some hits because you know me. And here's the thing about our friendship that's wonderful because we talked about this the other night. You share me. Like, Sweet Life is Zach Cody 10 years later with Maddie and, you know, the, the you know the Sprouse twins there. And what's great yep. about it is you can share it with me because you you know I get you with this. And you even said yeah. to me, I'm the only one you can share this with. You are. Because you're the only one that knows. And I, like I said, it's well, it's our childhood. It's what we grew up with. And a lot of people try to forget about it, which I'm like, cherish it, man, because it goes by in a blink. You know what I'm saying? Throw some positive messages, some life lessons up in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, that was hit clips. And now I got to ask you the nine hit clips that you had 
What besides bye bye bye? Because of course you had bye bye bye. What, <laughs> what other ones do you remember having? Um, O Town, All or Nothing. Okay. The Destiny's Child, Survivor. Yep. Independent Woman. Yep. Uh, Backstreet Boys, Larger Than Life. Okay. I think the call I had. Oh, that's Backstreet Boys. Yep. That's six. Uh, and I had two more from O Town. I just don't remember what their names were. Okay. Was it Liquid Dreams? And then, I think so. You I got the star of my Liquid Dreams. Now, here's the thing. I'm nine years old singing that song, and then you find out what the hell a Liquid Dream is, and you're like, oh, snap. Puberty <laughs> hit me early. Puberty hit me early. Oh, good God. <laughs> Puberty done hit me early. Anyway, you gotta continue. What were the other ones you had? And I don't remember the last one that I had. Ugh. Okay, but still. But I think that, that was like eight that I named, right? <laughs> yes, but but still, right, with yeah. with that number of hit clips that you had, and I got, like I said, I, I kind of borrowed that. How many days did I even have that? I think I only had it for like, I had a couple, I had it for a couple days, didn't I? When yeah, you, I, actually I think you had it for like a week. That's right. I, you, you forgot about it. <laughs> that's right. I was in hit clip heaven for a week, and then I'm like, oh, by the way, Amanda, you should hit clips. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't lose it on you, though. It was, it was in safe keepings. Yeah. I and you know what? I, that's still the same original boombox that my brother got that I stole from him from Christmas when we got them so when they first came out. So you're jacking your brother, and I'm jacking you on some hit clips. So hey, man, it goes yeah. both ways. We, original, like everything's original, original battery and everything. And I gotta say, even way, even though people gotta hate on it and say like, oh, it was you know redundant or whatever they were saying in these articles. You gotta admit, for this time period, besides going out and buying <laughs> CDs, it was. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it was yeah. something that at the time wasn't being done. And especially done. The, okay. the little one that I had, mm-hmm. I got to sneak it into school with me. Did you really? To do it. Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. And you ne- you never got caught? No, because I listened to it while at lunch. Well, <laughs> duh. I was about to say, if you listen to a class, then you'd be a dummy. Yeah. I was about to say, as long as you put it on in lunch, that's good. It was like out at recess during on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is, that's awesome. And I got to say this to you again, but do you, you have to agree with me on this just to reiterate this particular time period for its time period before everything came to fruition. This was, it was cool and it was original. It was something different than just going out and buying it, which a lot of people, even though you heard me read the comments were like, I'd rather just have the MP3 and just buy the CDs, but you got to admit it was something unique and different for the time. Yes, it was. Which again, definitely. It was. And that's why I say I love talking about this because, again, you and I get it on this. So I have a couple more things. And I got to say, we'll do more pop culture shows. We'll, we're we're going to do some more shooting the breeze coming real soon. But I got to say, man, it's always a blast just talking to you and just having you on because th- did you enjoy taking this trip down memory lane today? I did. <laughs> you did. All right. So <laughs> there's some more. I there. You know what it is? I can't find like. All right. If they're okay, wait. No, I might have one. Okay, let me see. There, here's one for bye bye bye. All right, somebody legit <laughs> put this up, but of course it's bye bye bye. So let me. <laughs> this is King six eight eight zero. This was like six years ago. Let me. I gotta see this now. I'm kind of curious. Hold on. Okay, they're putting it in. I don't need you to put it in. Just put it in already. And I'm not. Hold on. <laughs> And that was on repeat 
over and over again, but I could listen to that on repeat for hours. Yep. <laughs> so there's one. And now, see, here's the, I like at the start of this, you heard it, I played the 2000 Tiger Hits Clips commercial, right? Apparently, mm-hmm. apparently, Amanda, there was another one from 2004, the Hit Clips Dis and Dis Players commercial. Are you ready for this one? Yes. <laughs> So you can get yourself down to that Kids' Choice Awards if you... <laughs> I was just about to say, I wouldn't even go to the Kids' Choice Awards. I would have done that. <laughs> so I think from the commercial that made me laugh is I think it said you could get up to two minutes. So was that the difference? Because with, this, with these... The, I don't know. Like, I never... I, I'm just, I only had those nine and then I, we, we kind of just got bored with it. Well, yeah, because even with two minutes, like, oh my god, you added an extra minute to the Eclipse. Woohoo, an extra minute! Give me the whole song! Yeah, but yeah. Again, just to reiterate, from listening to that commercial, and I think what's great about it is, too, because you said, what's funny about this is when we we talked about doing the show today, you're like, I don't know how long we're going to talk about it. I'm like, I'm going to read you the list. We can equate it to our, uh, we can equate it to the time period, and I think we did that, did we not? Yes, so we did. So <laughs> why don't you just say, Mike, you're you're the best. Just you just gotta say, Mike, you yeah. know what you're doing. You just just you gotta say it. You, I just want to hear it. Say it. Say it. Mike, you are the best. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to be appreciated. Thank you so much. Aren't wait? Don't you say that you're the greatness? <laughs> I am. Bow down to greatness. That's right. Yeah, you're reiterating it. Uh-huh. <laughs> the greatness. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that's why I love having love, love talking. I love doing these shows with you. <laughs> So, before we do close out, I guess, so you heard the commercial, you heard that person playing Bye Bye Bye, I wanted to skip past them putting it in, let's just, you know, let's play some Bye Bye Bye, enough for you getting that in your hit clips there, sir. So, (laughs) we played the 2004 commercial, which all the links to this will be in the description, because it represents how hit clips were, and, you know, the commercials that we had from the time, but, uh, I guess, final thoughts on hit clips, uh, you know, it just really was pivy to what we would have later in music and our downloads and uh, whatever music, you know, playlists and whatever music services that we would use. Uh, if you were to give Hit Clips a grade on a scale of a grade from A to F and on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give Hit Clips? Then probably like a 7, 8. Okay. Now a 1, 2. Okay. And a grade if you could do it from A to F. Grade back then probably like a B, and now like a D minus. Okay, so for me, <laughs> like I, again, I didn't have it; it was a blip on the radar. But knowing that what we had back then, and being the seven year old kids that we were, and being youngins in like first and uh, no, like second and third grade. I would mm-hmm. probably rank it up there like you, like an eight or a nine. Because, <laughs> you know, you're a kid and you're losing your mind. Oh, yes, I have yeah. it at my fingertips. But now with how technology but is. But now toy. Exactly. Exactly. But now, I mean, like I lost my mind because I'm all about nostalgia. But I guess now you people would probably give it like a two. You didn't have them. So that's like something totally new. Exactly. So. But I'm saying if I did. And you didn't let me finish. I'm going to let you finish, but I'm going to talk about Eclipse right here. <laughs> so, since it was totally new to me, I would just, when you gave it to me, I would give it a fucking nine because I loved it. I loved the nostalgia about it. But back then, I still would give it a nine. Uh, now, I'm not like one of these millennials because I appreciate the history and the nostalgia. I'd still probably give it that, but I could see where you would give it like a one or a two because of how everything has, you know, evolved over the years. And like you can literally go to your Play Store and create like playlists now on your phone and everything's at your fingertips. But I think it really was a jump start for what the generation and the technology would become, correct? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Again, and if for those... And would you recommend anybody now? Because I told you about Amazon, and they're they're on Amazon, and people have bought hit clips off of Amazon, and you can pay for them. Would you advise anybody if they're curious to pay for some hit clips? 
uh, in my opinion, probably not because they're really not worth it. Now you see, it, ki- it, ki- it, it Now you see, it kills me to say oh, this. Like you get a collector's item, probably. Exactly, but it kills me to say this. People, save your money. <laughs> save your money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Save your money. And, Unless uh, just one of the nostalgia, that's yeah, about it. That is about it. So, uh, And that'll be about it on the end of the show. I, I think we had a fun show. We got to relive the 90s and early 2000s, and we got to talk about hit clips, even though they had some old school hit clips on there, man. So, hey, if you're talking about stuff around that time and you want to hear Shout or Glory or Gainer <laughs> or, you know, all these songs and you want to get that nostalgia, go right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> Which I'll be honest with you, as soon as I saw them, I'm like, wait a minute, they legit act like I'm like you, because I'm like, I, I guess if like maybe like I think you better have that. So, well, here's the thing, I'm like, if like like you mentioned parents, what parents are getting hit clips? I'm just like maybe they were like in like these old school songs or in movies, like like the children, like us kids in the '90s, you know, the children, how you know the kids in the '90s, <laughs> <laughs> the children. Yes, we're totally into like these movies, and they probably had some nostalgia songs from the 60s, 70s. That's my guess, but I'm like, I mean, it gives you some. I'm, that's what I'm thinking, man. I'm trying. I'm probably trying to put some logistics on it, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to analyze this. And I'm not talking about the movie Robert De Niro and Billy Crystal. I'm trying to analyze this, Amanda. <laughs> Well, I can analyze that it was fun times, and it was great nostalgia, and again, it was great as always taking this trip down memory lane with you, and people, I will actually put those descriptions to the sample of Bye 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 from that person's YouTube if you want to see how the hit clips used to work. I'm going to put the 2000 commercial in there, I'm going to put the 2004 commercial in there with, God damn it, I wanted to go to the Kids' Choice Awards just to be in that, nobody ever told me this, I never saw that commercial, sons of bitches. Anyway... <laughs> well, you got to admit, well, listen to that commercial. You wanted to get your ass to the Kids' Choice Awards, didn't you? Oh, yeah, who wouldn't? Exactly. So, anyway, good times, great memories, and it's great to always do it with a great friend. So, I, I, I thank you, as always, again, for your time, Amanda. I'm glad I had fun. So, well, this is where I step back, because if you would like to promote your Instagram, Amanda, where people can follow the great Amanda Dia, where can people check you out at? Uh, Mandy Cole, uh, Mandy underscore Cole 91. The woman who was the inspiration behind this episode and what an inspiration was. Hey, at least I gave you your hit clips back. I wasn't that bad, which I gave it back to you. And now I don't remember where I put them. So wait, way to go. <laughs> oh, hit clips, baby. They're probably still out in the car. Probably. <laughs> no Because well, I had to empty it a lot after I had uh, a minor accident. So uh, well, I probably just threw it all in a bag. Well, knowing you, it's probably in the car because, like I said, knowing you, and I've seen that car with your hit clips and your iPod. Knowing you, I know, I know, I like your style, but I know your style as well. So, hey, <laughs> I, I see you. So, folks, thank you for listening. To episode 147. Uh, lots to come with this uh, with this podcast. I mean, we're gonna have a couple guests come on in the future. Uh, my boy Killer Cross doing his thing over there in Impact Wrestling. Uh, we got Christy Knowings coming on in a couple months. We're gonna do a. Uh, you know, anniversary show, looking back at 20 plus years of all that, my god uh, got my boy Jorge coming on to talk about 93 till infinity uh, hip hop, uh, the rap, rock fucking everything, hit clips you never know what you're going to get with this show and it's always a blast to doing this show, so again uh, Amanda, I'd like to thank you so much for your time and do you have any final words for the people? Nope, I'm good thank you for having me on here no problem, you don't even want to say bye to the people, nothing, just like meh, I see you I see bye. You. Uh, okay. bye everyone <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening and guys i'll see you in episode 148 have a great night